Today's thought. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 6. Proverbs 21. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. And high look and a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to be plenteous, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them, because they refuse to do judgment. The way of man is froward and strange, but as for the pure his work is right. It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desireth evil. His neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise, and when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. The righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked, but God overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. A gift in secret pacifieth anger, and a reward in the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man, he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous, and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty, and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Proud and haughty scorner is his name, who dealeth in proud wrath. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. He coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination, how much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind. A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. A wicked man hardeneth his face, but as for the upright, he directeth his way. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Every person believes that they know what is best for them. They usually decide what they think is right and good, and much of the time, though, it's wrong in God's eyes. Unfortunately, with that philosophy and thinking, what is sin and wrong in God's eyes often becomes acceptable and right, especially in godless eyes. Many have not figured out that if they reject God's ways, that their ideas and actions often will fail. Proverbs 21 reveals some of the real consequences those refusing God's ways and laws will face. The ungodly believe that their lies are often justified by what they think they will gain. However, God will not bless ill-gotten gains, and they will find what they believe they accomplished will not last and may be a hindrance rather than useful. That gaining something without earning it or stealing it is a faster way to get what they want. Unfortunately, their thievery will cost them more than they ever thought possible. Many thieves behind prison bars will attest to that fact. One that chooses to live in defiance to the way God commands him will not only reap the consequences of their sin, but face loneliness and social rejection. He may find himself only associated by those in the same sinking sin boat as himself. Those that are committed and determined only to have fun will find that they have little to show for their life. What gives them temporary happiness will rob their life of having real meaning. That those that refuse work will be destroyed and robbed of what they could have obtained. 
Their laziness will cheat them out of what they could have made out of themselves. Living a life contrary to what God desires costs everyone a price that is often regretted. A godless life ungoverned by God's commandments is not the easy way of living. It creates more hurdles, difficulties, and problems than may be realized. Live your life the way God commands. You will avoid many hardships and will have God's perfect leadership along the way. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless and guide you.